for Tecla Structures 2020, we also have new viewing options when utilizing DirectX within the model. Uh, these allow you to view and snap. It also improves the opening speeds of models uh, when using DirectX 3D. And the real hidden lines are now used for edges behind other parts, making it much more easy to identify sort of the the uh, unseen items. So you can see as you zoom in, when you're snapping to parts, it actually also highlights the edge that it's defining the snap point from. So it's clear then which edge you're snapping to, and the hidden lines are much more easily defined to view the sort of hidden parts or what's going on behind solid members. Uh, we can see this in more detail here. I'll just actually turn on the next slide. So we can see here then it's, it's highlighting the edge of the snaps going along. The edges that are hidden are shown as real hidden lines, making it much easier to define and view and snap and work to what's happening within the model. DirectX new, new options for Tecla Structures 2020, new viewing options. As you can see here we have a model and if we click on the parts, I'm jumping between sort of direct manipulation and just selecting parts. If we do a control, uh, control three and shift three, we can go to the gray mode, which allows us, allows me to highlight then the hidden lines between each element, allowing me to easily view the hidden lines between behind each part and work them with much more clarity. If I do shift two, control two, that gives me the semi-transparent options and again you can see there quite clearly the hidden lines between between each part and again when we snap to those you can see that it highlights the line showing quite clearly which line the part the snap point is defined from so again as we move through there you can see the snap points the hidden lines make it much more easily easier for us to work to those parts